full disclosure, I received this product for free, but nevertheless, I will do an unbiased and honest review. Before starting with the review, there are few things that you will need to know to better understand the true quality of this microphone and whether it suits your application. Most of this video is recorded using the same microphone. However, some parts of this video is also recorded using other microphones and its name would be always displayed in here. And I recommend you not to compare the quality of this three different microphones for the following reasons. First, the quality of the audio would depend not just on the microphone itself, but on the recording device as well, such as whether it is recorded on a PC, on a camcorder, or on a phone. For example, the recorded volume on a phone would be much lower than the recorded volume on a camcorder. That's why throughout this video, you would need to increase and decrease the volume of this video. And the second reason is that it's not fair to compare the quality of different types of microphones. If you're new to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, or just want to improve your audio quality during a WhatsApp or Skype call, then you will need an external microphone. But as soon as you buy a microphone, you will realize that it's impossible to mount a microphone on top of your phone without a tripod or not having the correct audio cable for your phone. So in this video, I will introduce ViewFlex VF-K2 video kit for smartphones. So let's get started. Information on the box such as some of its main features as you can see it has got a lot of useful items a generous size carrying bag user manual information in the user manual wind muff has got a good density to give maximum protection from wind noise phone holder tripod windscreen 3.5 millimeters trs to trrs audio cable shock mount microphone all the items that comes in the box the phone holder releases slowly and softly. This is important because there are some phone holders that when you try to get your phone out, it releases so quickly that it can hurt you. You could film in both landscape and portrait mode and anything in between. The knob is easy to turn to fix the phone in its position. When filming for YouTube, use the landscape mode. And when filming for TikTok, Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, use a portrait mode. There is a cold shoe on other side of the phone holder. This helps to ensure that the microphone cable can easily reach the audio port of any phone model. And most importantly, it makes sure that the microphone is always placed at the top of the phone when filming in the landscape mode. The shock observer feels flimsy, but that's by design so that when there is a vibration, it will vibrate the shock observer rather than transmitting the vibration to the microphone's capsule. The shock observer is very important in reducing any unwanted noise. As the name tripod suggests, it has got three legs. You could fold the legs to form a perfect gripping handle. This is helpful if you want to walk and talk to the camera or simply getting the perfect filming position. You could rest the tripod on a surface so that you could use both of your hands freely in the video. Bottom of the legs got good friction to prevent the tripod from sliding. Unfortunately, the tripod legs got a fixed height of just 9 cm to the bottom plate. Luckily, it has got a quarter and 3x8 threaded holes at the bottom plate so that you could mount the kit to any other tripod with adjustable height. It has got a shaft screw that you could use to adjust the phone angle and get more creative shots. I just wish that this shaft screw had a grip 
for easy screwing and unscrewing. The legs and the shock absorber are made up of plastic to make it light, soft and flexible. And the phone holder, cold shoe and the plates are made from aluminum alloy to make it sturdy and durable. It also comes with a travel pouch that you could use to put everything together and carry it with you to different locations. However, all of these would be useless if the microphone itself isn't good quality. You could use the microphone with wind screen, wind muff, or without any wind protection. But it is better to have the wind screen on to protect the microphone from dust and spits. But if you're outdoors and the weather is windy, then you should use the wind muff. The microphone's polar pattern is cardioid, which helps to reduce the noise from the surrounding. The trick is to keep the microphone as close as possible to the sound source, that is your mouth. Also, if you're in a noisy environment, make sure that the most of the noise is behind the mic rather than in front of the mic. This is because the area in front of the mic is most sensitive in picking up any sounds. It is also important to speak directly to the front of the mic rather than the top or bottom of the mic itself. Now I will test the quality of my phone's microphone so that we could compare the audio quality when the microphone is connected and when there is no microphone. So I take the wire out, open my camera, as you can see, there is no microphone wire connected. So let's start recording. This is the audio quality test of my phone's internal microphone without connecting the external microphone. You could also speak to the mic without having the wind muff or wind screen on. Testing the audio quality with wind screen. I will just keep talking while I'm moving this hair dryer around it and you could see the noise is much lower when the hair dryer is at the back. Now I will take the wind screen out and put the wind muff on. Now I will be testing the mic with the wind muff on and you can see how much the noise reduces when you got the wind muff with the hair dryer and I will turn it around like this so when you have the noise behind the mic because it's a cardioid mic the level of noise must be much lower and now I bring it around and back to the front of the mic. And now I'm talking without the hair dryer running. So no external noise such as wind that I created artificially using a hair dryer. Technical specifications. Polar pattern is cardioid. This type of microphone helps to reduce the noise from the surrounding. Frequency response is 60 Hz to 20 kHz, which covers most of the human's hearing range. Human's hearing range is approximately 20 Hz to 20 kHz, but most people hardly hear any sound below 60 Hz anyways. It means it will record any sound with a frequency in the range of 60 Hz to 20 kHz. Maximum sound pressure level SPL of greater than 105 decibel. It means if you would try to record any sounds higher than 105 decibel, which is very loud, there will be a distortion in the output signal. But don't worry, if you expose the microphone to a much higher sound pressure, it's not gonna break your microphone. 105 decibel SPL is absolutely fine for recording speaking voice, but don't use it for recording a very high pressure sound source, such as a kick drum. Signal to noise ratio of greater than 75 decibel. The higher the signal to noise ratio, the cleaner the sound quality. 
75 decibel SNR is okay. Obviously, the higher SNR microphones are much more expensive. Technical specifications are more complicated to cover in a single video. So, to learn more about each specification, please watch my other videos in the description. Summary. Overall, I think it's a great kit to get you started with recording or having video conferences. It is a huge improvement in the sound quality compared to the phone's microphone. It's sold at an affordable price with all the essential accessories that you will need. You could find the Amazon links in the description. To learn more about microphones or other microphone reviews, please watch my other videos in here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe.